Okay, I think we're live. I think so. We were having a little bit of technology <laughs> issue. <laughs> Which kind of goes with our topic today. It does, it does. But mm -hmm. part of the tech problem, I no. think, was me. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna I'm going to blame technology because yeah. you can do that. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> okay, so I'm Chris Taru of HLC Bookkeeping and Office Services. Christina Rue of the same of the same. And the purpose of Saturday Solutions mm -hmm. is we discuss topics um, that we think would be helpful for the business community. And the business community includes, of course, owners of businesses, senior managers of businesses, mm -hmm. or anyone who wants to become one of those two things. Right. Employees who want to start their own business. Right. Who want to strive. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Let's recap last week. You have the mm -hmm. book. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> this is the first time in over a year. I, d I don't remember what we talk about week oh, to week. Oh, well, wait, first. But, oh, yeah. The Veterans poppy. Day. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, for your, your service. service. A lot mm -hmm. of times I think people take you for granted. Please know that even if we forget to say thank mm -hmm. you, you are in our prayers always. Yep, absolutely. And we were going through people. I called a friend of mine who served for years in the military. And, like, sometimes we have to remember just to reach out and say thanks. That's right. You know? That's so. right. Okay, so let's recap last week. We, we finished up. We were doing the SWOT analysis, pros and cons, pluses, minuses, things that you can do. Whenever you are embedded in a SWOT analysis or doing one, and we had discussed T, which is the threat. And um, so if you want to catch the last four, you'll get all of them, S-W-O-T. Right. And I'm not going to tell you any more about it because you <laughs> should go look at them. All right. And then number two, we talked about competition, pros and cons. And you have Thanksgiving. I'm not sure what that means there. I don't remember. <laughs> Probably that we should be thankful for competition. Yes, because yeah. it makes us stronger. Yes. Yes. It builds you up. Gets you thinking outside the box. Maybe presses you forward if we get complacent. That That's sort right. of thing. Right. And then off the shelf, I talked about one of the books that I like to read. And we shared information about that. That's right. So there's that. All right. Number 53 today. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit. Oh, about the employee retention credit because we haven't done that in a month or so and we're getting a lot more questions right. because people are like what does that mean that they're not processing anymore did i miss my opportunity what should i do all that you did not miss your opportunity mm -hmm. so go ahead. the irs has paused is that the official word um, paused their processing of the ERC applications until they get caught up because it's a very successful popular program. popular program and we get calls all the time about do I qualify am I eligible and you need to check that out because that's important <laughs> if you were affected by the COVID-19 shutdown, then there's three ways you can qualify. And if you call and make an appointment with Joyce to speak to one of us, we're going to, we hostess you through the process is like I call, is what I like to say. Yes. We yes. hostess you through so that you can answer appropriately to make sure that you, uh, you know what they're asking you to find right. out. Mm -hmm. And if you want to check for yourself, just go to our website, mm -hmm. um, hscbookkeeping.com, and there's a button that says taxrebatespecialist.com. Yep. You click on it, the eligibility questions come up, and mm -hmm. you can answer it. And then what that does is that puts you in our back office mm -hmm. so that we know to reach out to you to see if you have any questions. Correct. Now, you don't have to use us. If you know how to do it and want to move forward, go for it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, it's a very easy uh, process to go through to it, where it asks you questions and then you can know for sure if you are eligible or not. Right. And it's not an application. You're not applying. 
It's not a loan. Yeah. It's a it's, credit. It's a credit on money Against you already you paid. paid. Correct. Right. So. so like step one is to find out if you're eligible and that's where we And that's in. based on the COVID-19 law. I forget what American recovery law mm -hmm. that states what makes you eligible. Right. And there was a change to that law back in November of which opened 21, which opened it up. So even if you got a PPP loan, you can still see if you're eligible to move forward in the process. So that's right. Definitely make sure you do call us. We'll be glad to hostess you through the process. Right. right. So that's, that's correct. Good. Yeah. And we're working with really great companies that this is what they do. They process ERCs they for people. They collect all the documents. Mm -hmm documents then the next yep. company uh, analyzes all that mm -hmm. and comes up with the number they believe you're does your 941 for. X's and then takes you and sends them to the IRS if you choose to move forward right. but that's it but you can get a number and then choose not to move forward if it's not worth your right. your while but we are happy to say we've brought over a million dollars to businesses within the community and we would like to bring some more, more to businesses Sorry. within the community. If you're eligible, do it. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So topic number two, scheduling flexibility. <laughs> yes. Now we have talked and talked about how hard it is to find qualified skilled workers. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that can bar you from getting the best people is if you're totally inflexible on scheduling. So like, yes, most companies are open nine to five. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But if you have an excellent candidate that can't go full time, but could do part time, you have to say to yourself, is that better than nothing? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. Because sometimes you just need someone in that seat. Because mm -hmm. I know we looked, what, four months. Four months. Yeah, for, for a uh, qualified candidate. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you need help. Yep. Period. Yep. And it might not come in how you were expecting it, but mm -hmm. you as the owner and senior managers, as long as it fits with your business, I'm not saying sacrifice your business mm -hmm. to make it work for one particular employee, but be a little flexible. Yep. And then also, one of the things I do is when someone comes to me, I ask them if I'm seriously considering them, do you have any vacation scheduled coming up? Do you... Um, that you would need time that off you for. you need time off for. Uh -huh. Right. If you're going home for the holidays to Nebraska, does yep. that mean you need the whole week of Christmas off? Correct. Like, no what's going on right and this is all part of the negotiation process That's too right. like we are um i guess encouraging businesses that you just give employees paid time off don't think of it as vacation or holiday or whatever just lump it in a bucket and then right. that's it. And it just makes processing simpler from a payroll perspective. And it right. makes capturing information right. if easier. If they don't do anything on July 4th and want to work July 4th and take an extra day at Christmas, I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because you have blank days I'm going to pay yeah. you to be off. Yeah. You can go from there. Absolutely. And like, that's the thing too. And do you have a facility where somebody could come in right. and work by themselves? Right. Cause if you yeah. don't have, if that's not an option, then an option. Correct. I'm just saying, start thinking outside of the box. Yep. Because it's not worth losing good people. Yep. Just because you stuck to your guns. Exactly. Yeah. That's all. And everybody, I'm sure you hear this crazily. I want a work-life balance. Well, guess what? We're from Generation X. We're, we work. <laughs> so, That's it. I, we don't get this work-life ba work balance. <laughs> but we should. We should do better at it. But it is very important to younger people. So this is where we are. You're not going to fight this trend. Mm -hmm. So learn to live with it and make it work for your business. Yep. How can you incorporate it into your That's business? That's right. There's pros and cons to everything that happens. And like sometimes good people don't want to work full time. So. Right. And this isn't 
a new concept. Because yes. if you remember the movie Nine to Five, oh yeah, one of the things the ladies did was incorporate shared desks. Correct. So someone was working two days a week, someone yeah. was working three days a week at the same desk. You didn't need more equipment. That's correct. You just filled it with two people instead of one. Correct. Absolutely. And right. That's always a great thing. Shared workspaces, that sort of thing. And then, uh, but you have to then teach workspace etiquette. That's correct. To your people so that they, they're not leaving it a mess for the next person. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. But I'm just saying, think, yeah, just think there's different ways to do it. Work from home options are very mm -hmm. popular now. They work some days if in you office, can. some days out of right. office. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's just tons there's and tons options. of things you can do. Because mm -hmm. technology lets you do a lot now yep. that was inconceivable yeah. even 15 years ago. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So, speaking of technology. Oh, why um, were we late today, boys and girls? <laughs> Let's talk about technology that. was good. But sometimes, what's that saying Kenny said? Problem exists between Dream user Zoom. and keyboard. Yeah. So I like Chris to be in charge of setup today. <laughs> not a good option. Not, it's just not. Not a good. But she needs to know these things. <laughs> not that it wasn't a good option, but she needs to know how to do it. Like there are things she always does, but I need to know how she does it. So I let her do it. I'm supervised. It didn't go well. It didn't go well. It did not go well. <laughs> But hopefully next time I'll do better. That's right. There'll be room for improvement. We'll try it again in three months. So, Because <laughs> she's not going to be willing to try oh before gosh. this. <laughs> this is me walking out of my office. To, I, where does this go? Where do I find where this? Is where does this Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a techie person. But again, yeah. as employers, we got to know who my techie people are and who are not. And don't force them in that box. Correct. Yeah. A square peg in a round That's hole. right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That's right. That's all. But technology mm -hmm. can be a frustration to your employees. Yes. Which brought up this topic right. because it this, did. you've been wanting to talk about it. And then that happened today. I'm like, I think this is the day we got to talk about yeah, it. Because one of the things we were listening to mm -hmm. is we're all getting older. And mm -hmm. a lot of times I was walking past and my employees are going, What's that say? Okay. I, okay, we work with numbers. Yes. So sixes and eights can look a lot alike yeah. on a small screen. So one of the things we did, we upgraded our monitors. Yep. So now everybody has a huge Big monitor. monitor. And hopefully yeah. that's going to make them happy. And we waited for them to go on sale. Yes. We yes. had the idea. I noticed it. We had the budget and we waited for paid cash for it yeah so that we didn't have to take out a loan That's to right. do it so like we noticed something we addressed it waited for a right opportunity and did it that yeah. reminds me of that commercial who are those that couple that does that carvana commercial oh. where he always wants to sell and hold. she's like hold that is so me yeah. hold because <laughs> yes so sometimes you're like oh well, i should just do it now but should you should you yeah. let's have a conversation yeah, and about also that. then it made our employees happier correct and they had no saw, idea we were yeah, planning we on doing saw a need and we corrected correct it. Mm -hmm. so don't be afraid because like and like let's face it it was relatively cheap it was like 200 dollars per piece yeah for huge monitors and it just made their life so much and better. it made their life so much better mm -hmm. yep that's a very small investment and, to keep people happy. And let's talk about work frustrations in technology can be like a oh. huge burden on owners and staff. Yes, if your and, staff is frustrated every day, yeah. they're going to be snippy every day. And if they're like, I tried <laughs> to scan this to you, but yet again, the copier won't take the scan to my computer. <laughs> so if that's happening, you should address that. As the person That's right. in charge. That's right. Because you are causing stress for what? Right. There's no reason it, for let it. Let them be efficient. You make a phone call to your IT people or and your copier guy done. and say, make it work. That's right. That's what Discuss. I'm paying for. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Yeah. That's it. 
So that was our three topics for today. Mm -hmm. um, again, we want to say thank you to our veterans. We appreciate you. We see you. Mm -hmm. And we want to be here for you. So don't be afraid to ask us for help, too. Absolutely. All right. Do you have mm -hmm. anything? Oh, our contact information. Oh, yeah. HLC Bookkeeping and Office Services. We didn't have a stand up. No. 724-561-7460. Mm -hmm. And HLCBookkeeping.com. That's correct. Yep. That's us. And we'll see you next Saturday. Right? Yes, Two o'clock. Well. Ish. Ish. If we have issues. <laughs> I won't be in charge, so we yeah. should be okay. But I'm an isher anyways. Yeah, she is an isher. I'm an isher. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why we're contractors. <laughs> <laughs> it's our schedule thing. I have you. every intention. Yes. 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 Sometimes ish happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have a good day. Yep. Enjoy it.